Hi, here's a modular arithmetic example from a recent AIM. Let m be the least positive integer divisible by 17, whose digits sum to 17. Find the number m. Okay, this certainly smells like a modular arithmetic problem. We have divisible by 17, so we should probably analyze this problem in mod 17. And we also have a condition on the uh, sum of the digits. So we should also probably analyze this problem in mod 9. And we'll see what that, why that is in a minute. So in mod 17, the condition is pretty simple. We have that m is equal to 0 in mod 17. Now in mod 9, we know from the previous video that the sum of digits of a number m is just equal to m in mod 9. And we know that the sum of digits is 17. So we know then that m is equal to 17, again, in mod 9. And we can uh, reduce that to the principal residue of 8. And now we have these two conditions on the number m, a condition in mod 17 and a condition in mod 9. So from the Chinese remainder theorem, we are now able to find what m is equal to in mod 9 times 17, 153. So that's the Chinese remainder theorem. Now the Chinese remainder theorem gives us a procedure for finding this number, but that's usually more trouble than it's worth. It's usually easier to take one of the conditions and write down a short list of numbers and then check those numbers for the second condition. So in this case, the first condition, that m is equal to 0 mod 17, we can write down a list of numbers that satisfy that. And going down this list, we don't have to go very far. We find that 17, in fact, is equal to 17 in mod 9, obviously, I guess. So we then know that m is equal to 17 in mod 153. Now, with this high mod number, what this means is we can just add multiples of 153 to look for possible candidates that could solve the original problem. So 17 doesn't solve the original problem. So let's add 153. That doesn't add to 17, so that's not correct. Let's add 153, 2, 3. Those digits don't add to 17, that's not correct. Let's add 153, 6, 7, 4. Okay, this does add to 17 and satisfies all the conditions of the problem. This is, in fact, the correct answer, 476, our final answer. Hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.